Hello all, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we will talk about SENT protocol. So before going to the SENT protocol, let us uh, uh, try to recollect the sensors that we have connected to our microcontrollers or any other customized controllers uh, and what is the interface that is used. Okay, so if we see uh, generally, the sensor that is used uh, used in our uh, uh, applications produces an analog output, and we do interface it to a microcontroller over analog interface. This is commonly used, right? Now, with analog interface, there are problems uh, like uh, you might have uh, a low resolution data, or you might need to have a separate analog interface. Uh, and uh, with the low values of analog outputs, there might be a corruption of data. So there are many problems, right? In a digital world, having an analog is always uh, an additional burden on the design engineer. Right? Now, what if a sensor has a digital interface where it gives the data to the microcontroller in digital format? That's where Scent comes into picture, which is an alternative to analog interface and especially used in the automotive industry where you have um, like uh, extreme conditions right harsh conditions you have uh, vibrations uh, you have high levels of uh, uh, reliability is required in these conditions you you demand that right so in such cases scent plays a very very crucial role okay so scent stands for Single edge nibble transmission. That's what uh, SENT stands for. SENT basically is a single wire interface. So, even though we mentioned single wire interface, there are three wires that are there in the uh, sen sensor one is power, one is ground, and the other one is the data pin, which is the uh, pin that will, be that will be connecting to our controller to read the data. Important point is SENT is a unidirectional interface and it is output from the sensor so we can only get the data from sensor we cannot configure or do anything with the sensor so it has to be pre-configured in the factory and then you just need to use the sensor so that's uh, one disadvantage you can say because if you want to configure something if you want to or do do the data at a, or read the data in different interfaces then this is not uh, possible, right? With sent. And then, another very critical point sent devices, compatible protocol compatible devices, operate on 5 volts. So, uh, the operating range of these sensors are 4.15 to 5.15. This is one critical, interface, a, a critical electrical specification, we should say, where uh, if your uh, device is internally or operating at 3.3, you might need uh, a level translator to do that, definitely. So, that is one disadvantage we can say. And then, the most important point when we come to the protocol related things. So, we will see how uh, a protocol uh, looks like. The important uh, timing specification of a sent protocol is called a tick time. So, tick time is something, a very, very important specification if you select a um, sensor with scent interface. That's what characterizes the performance of the uh, sensor. So, what is tick time? Tick time is nothing but it's a ratio of sync pulse time divided by 56. So, what is the sync pulse time? that we need to understand how the sent device outputs the data. So if you see here, this is the format of a sent data. Uh, there are several uh, modes in sent communication. You might refer to the protocol information, uh, uh, protocol uh, data uh, for that. This is just uh, to give you an understanding. So if you, if you see, uh, it is, this has a calibration uh, or uh, synchronization pulse. So, this particular pulse will be high for some time. So, this sync pulse divided by uh, the 16, uh, 56 gives us uh, the time specification of that. So, if you select any 
sensor rises with um, set protocol you first look at the tick time specification and that determines the performance of it and uh, this is divided and uh, the set protocol is covered under sae standards society of automotive engineers so this uh, uh, as we mentioned is mostly used in uh, the automotive industry one important point which we also covered in the beginning so sent uh, the main advantage is that you can have a high resolution data if you take analog data uh, we we talk about the resolution at which we we do this conversions right at 12 bit or 8 bit so we we have a restriction on the uh, resolution there here uh, because you can you have the digital data directly so you can get higher resolution data from the sensor uh, based on the sensor you select and which is always uh, a bigger advantage so to summarize all of this sent is a point to point uh, uh, communication uh, protocol used in automotive industry it's a synchronous interface you don't need a, a clock pin it's just a single data pin uh, definitely as we mentioned it's a half duplex so only one can communicate and uh, only one device can communicate that's the sensor and uh, it's a three wire interface one pin data power and ground it's a low speed digital interface uh, which is uh, coming around 39.16 kbps a very very low speed right compared to the protocols that we have in the industry uh, and uh, if you if you have seen here uh, this is how the data uh, will be uh, transmitted so you can see low pulse and pulse that you have a data and again low pulse pulse that you have a data so based on the width of these pulses okay uh, you can say the pwm right uh, you can think of pwm here right so based on the width of the pulses we interpret the data so these data are sent as nibbles actually so this is a nibble of data so uh, there will be number of nibbles that will be transmitted as a part of the data output. So based on those pulse weights, the controller is going to decide what is the um, data that is being read. So for that, we know there is a synchronization pulse which we has to understand, which has to read, and then there is a status pulse, pulse that will get the data, pulse that will have a CRC, pulse that there is a pause pulse before uh, you start uh, having the next uh, data, and we see the um, same protocol. We mentioned it's a 5 volt interface, so definitely there will be VL max, VH minimum, uh, where uh, the controller has to look at uh, the low maximum and uh, high minimum, right? So VL maximum is 0 0.5 volts and VH minimum is uh, 4.1 volt. So anything below 0 0.5 is low, anything above 4.1 is 5 volts. So this uh, is a basic interaction of SYNC protocol. Please do look into the standard of the SYNC protocol to understand more. And if you are specifically in, into the automotive industry, you need to understand more in-depth uh, modes that are there in the SYNC. Please post if you have any questions. Uh, we will try to post more videos on this. Thank you.